guys that I'm going to talk to you guys about today is called Shotgun. Yes, that's you, all the scuba divers and hopefully future scuba divers out there. My name is Jan, I'm a scuba instructor and you're on my channel. <laughs> Give it a good thumbs up. Now this one, as you can see on the dive map, there's quite a lot going on here. And this dive site, you know, if you jump in in the right place, it starts off nice and slow. And then you get an extreme, extreme current. And then it flushes you out to a nice and quiet area where you can do your safety stop. But like I said, if you look at the dive map, you'll see this little pinnacle on the bottom left hand area. This is normally where we jump in. So over there, there's still no um, um, strong currents very easy so you can you know get yourself ready get your heart that's racing a little bit calm and look around at this pinnacle area because in this pinnacle there's a lot of marine life over here a lot of macro a lot of glass fish very very colorful really beautiful pinnacle spend some time over there and then you're just again going to drift with the current in this channel area now as you drift in this channel area you'll you'll feel the current will start to pick up slowly and then you're going to get to the area where we get this big huge sand pit. It's just got the sudden drop off and the bottom of the sand pit. It's a really, really big area. It's about 25 meters. Now my suggestion would be do not go in the middle of the sand pit area because it's a bit like a washing machine. You know, you're going to go up and down, which is okay. Um, but you might have difficulty equalizing by the, with the speed that you're going to go up and down. So go on either side. You can go on the opposite end, which is a sloping area. Beautiful, beautiful coral. But what I normally do, I stay on this side at the bottom end, which is a nice wall as you're going to drift along the wall. And you get to the end of this um, sand pit area then quite often you might see already some white tip reef sharks there now this is where you need to start paying attention because the current's going to be really strong over here now as you're going to get to the end of the sand pit you'll see there's a slope that they will take you up now if the current's really strong you won't be able to do much in terms of you know going up slowly the current will take you up quite quickly but you need to pay attention if your bcd is full of air you need to start emptying it up I'll emptying it out as you go up because if you've got a full bcd all of a sudden from say 15 meters to very shallow water it's just going you're just going to pop out to the surface and then it's going to be the end of the dive so you know as you're going to go up on this slope into your bcd and then you're going to get to the very long flat um, rock area and this is where the current is going to be added strongest you'll see in the video it's really really strong and this is where the fun starts and you're going to drift along this flat area uh, for maybe about 15 20 meters then you see these little drop-offs now at these drop-offs just before the drop-offs you can decide to use your reef hook to hook on there there's a lot of place and exposed rock that you can do it but if you don't hook up there you can just go behind these drop-offs and drop off there and find a bit of shelter behind these droppers because this spot here is normally where we see the mantas they of course come from um, the, uh, the deeper end and they'd like to swim in the current like i've said before and quite often the, the current is so strong that they move really really slow and if you keep nice and still they would also come really really nice and close to you so just hang around there for a little bit if there's no mantis when you get there and wait for them very likely that they will show up and spend some time there and be aware of the current check your octopus so that the pressure um, the current doesn't let my, get your octopus to free flow or even your regulator yes that's how strong the current can be here sometimes spend some time there once you've done you unhook and then of course the current's just going to take you further now again in this channel don't stay in the middle go to either side follow your guide now the, on this point where i'd like to go to the opposite end the higher end of the map over here and then there's lots of beautiful coral and then the current will slowly take you to around the left and also here by the drop off as you unhook if you go a little bit further you might even see more mantas but just keep on drifting because it tends to be quite deep there at some areas but drifting and then you'll get to an area where you see a lot of sand if you stick with the reef on your left hand side a lot of sand beautiful coral bombings now quite often this is also where we do our safety stops there's a lot to see there and there's no current turtles sharks stingrays lots and lots of this lots to see but if you're really really lucky and you go really shallow even as shallow as five meters and four meters you can go the opposite end if you see on the dive map because quite here in the shallow sometimes there's no current or even the current will take you a so sort of the current does that in a very shallow water it goes against the strong current that's in the deeper so you can go in the shallow water 
in the um, in the very shallow water with a mild current and go to where you spotted the mantis earlier and very often yeah, in the shallow water you can see even more mantis if you don't encounter go to more or less where you saw the the mantis the first time and then you can watch them from the top so either by that your you know your safety stop might be finished you can surface there because you'll be nice and calm or you can just swim again into the current and let it flush you out to where we saw um, where we did the uh, safety stop normally or where I said where we can do the safety stop so this is a very very exciting dive now hopefully you get the current in this direction but sometimes it happens when you get there either on a day boat or a liverboard and it's your time to dive the current might be in the opposite way then it's basically just the reverse but your chances of seeing mantis then is not as good as when it goes from left to right but yeah that's about it guys shotgun is a very very exciting dive try and stay calm and follow your guide and you'll have a great great dive let's jump in Welcome to my world.
Okay guys, so what did you think of Shotgun? It's for me, it's a really, really exciting dive. A lot of action, a lot of things going on at this dive site and lots to see. And the, the current just makes it so much fun. It's a little bit like an underwater roller coaster. But anyway, um, if you like, remember to subscribe, give it a good thumbs up and don't forget to share this video with your dive buddies. Until next time, take care.